If you are a content creator and publish videos on YouTube, then you may already know the importance of YouTube SEO, especially when you are new and need more results from search rankings. You may have seen various tools online to generate video titles, descriptions, and keywords. Now, what if I told you that you can also create these kinds of AI-powered tools, even if you don't have any knowledge of machine learning? Yes, I am talking about a no-code SaaS tool. Look at this. I created this tool, which is available on our website. I am simply entering one of the video links from my demo channel. And here you can see that it generates the video title, description, keywords, thumbnail suggestions, and even a thumbnail image idea. Isn't it a great tool? And today, I will share the step-by-step -step method of creating this tool. So, let's dive in. Alright, to create this tool, I will use a no-code SaaS app builder called Vectorshift AI. This is an integrated framework of no-code, low-code, and out-of-the-box generative AI solutions to build AI search engines, assistants, chatbots, and automation. I will put the link in the description. Just head over there and click on the provided link. Once you are on this page, click on Get Started and then create an account. Once you are logged in, your interface will look like this. On the left side of the page, you will find various options. In the Marketplace option, you will notice a vast number of SaaS tool templates created with Vectorshift. You can download and use them in your project. I won't use them. Let's create our own tool. To do that, go to the Pipeline tab. These are some of the pipelines I created earlier. To create a new pipeline, click on the New button here. Now you will find various pipeline templates. For example, this is a pipeline to write investment memos. You can deploy, modify, and generate data about any company. To create a new pipeline from scratch, click here. This is the Pipeline Creator and Editor panel. At the top of the page, you will find various tabs for input, research, and output options. In the LLMs tab, all the popular LLM models are available. You will find options to insert a knowledge base, add multimodal LLMS, integrations, logic, and others. First, we have to add an input option. So, go to the General tab and select the input node from here. This is our input node. Now, as we enter the YouTube video URL, I will rename it to YouTube URL. To convert this URL to transcribed text, we need a data loader. So, go to the data loader tab. Here you will find various data loaders. We have to select the YouTube data loader. It will analyze the YouTube video and transcribe the audio from the video. Now we have to connect the input with the YouTube data loader. Simply drag and drop the YouTube URL point to the URL to connect them. All right, now we have to add an LLM model to move ahead. In the LLMs tab, you will find all the popular LLM models like OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, Perplexity, and more. You can use any of them. I will go with Claude. Okay, the Claude LLM node has been added. Here you can see two input options, System and Prompt. Under the Model tab, you can set the preferred Claude model. I will go with Claude Sané 3rd of May. Now we have to customize the LLM input. Before that, I will add another LLM node. I will use the first one to generate the title and the second one to generate the keywords or tags. Let's see how we can do that. First, I am connecting the YouTube loader output with the first LLM node's prompt section. Now we have to enter a custom system prompt in this box so that the LLM can understand what I want from the YouTube transcription text. I already wrote all the system prompts to create the pipeline. You will find all the prompts, along with other prompts, in our Discord server and Telegram channel. Link in the description. I have another big announcement for you. Want to turn your passion into a stable career? Here's the secret. Learning the right skills. Skillshare is your go-to platform for online learning, offering thousands of classes in AI tools, design, marketing, and more. Whether you're just starting or looking to level up, there's a class for everyone. From mastering AI tools to exploring new platforms, Skillshare helps you build skills that matter in today's fast-changing world. It's not just about learning, it's about creating a future-proof career. Best part? You get one month of Skillshare free. Just use the link below to sign up and start exploring. Unlock your potential with Skillshare. Let's come back to the video. All right, this is the prompt to generate the video title. So, copy the prompt and go back to Vectorshift. Now paste the prompt in the system prompt box. This LLM is now ready to generate the title. But to do that, we need an output node. So, 
Go to the General tab and add one output node. Place it as needed, and then rename the node according to the output. Next, select the output type. I will go with text this time. Now we have to connect the title generator LLM response to the title output's input section. OK, our title generator is ready. Now we have to modify the keyword generator node. Go to the prompt section, copy the tag generator prompt, and paste it into the second LLM system prompt box. Now, according to the prompt, we have to enter the title and transcription input as the prompt. So, we have to create variables in the prompt box. To create variables, click here, and our first variable is created. Now rename it as title. To create another variable, click here again, and rename the newly created variable as transcription. Next, we have to connect the YouTube loader response with transcription and the title generator LLM's response with the title variable. Once done, we need to add another output node to publish the keywords. Add the output node, rename it, and then connect to the keyword generator LLM's response. All right, now let's create the description generator. To do that, I will add another Claude LLM node. After that, enter a description generator system prompt. This time, we need three variables according to the prompt. So I am creating the variables and renaming them as transcription, title, and keywords. After creating the variables, we have to connect them with related responses. Now to publish the description, I am adding another output node and renaming it as description. This time, I will set the output type as formatted text. After that, connect with the description generator response. OK, now we are ready to generate the title, tag, and description. It's time to see how you can generate the thumbnail idea and example images. To do that, I will add another LLM model. But this time, I will use the Open AILLM. After adding the Open AILLM, enter the system prompt. Now, according to the prompt, we have to connect this prompt with the title generator LLM's response. Next, add an output node, rename it as Thumbnail Idea, and then connect it with the Thumbnail Idea generator response. Now, the last step of the pipeline is generating example images. To generate images, we need a prompt. We can generate image generation prompts from the thumbnail idea. To do that, add another open AILLM. Next, enter the system prompt and then connect the prompt section with the thumbnail idea response. Now, it will generate the image generation prompt. However, we need an image generation model to generate the image. So, Go to the Multimodal tab. Here you will find various models to generate images, audio, and others. We have to add this image generation node. After adding the image generation node, set the image generation model. Here you will find two options, DALLE and Stability AI. Choose one of them. Next, set other settings. Once done, connect the prompt section with the prompt response node. OK, now we have to add another output node. After adding the node, rename it and then set image as the output type. After that, connect the output with the image generation node. And we are done. Our pipeline is ready to use. To save the pipeline, click on Deploy Change. Now, if you click on the Run icon, the pipeline will run here. Let's try the tool. I will use this video URL as the input URL. After entering the input URL, hit the Run button. And you can see our pipeline start working in the background. And here is the result. It generates three titles, tags, descriptions, thumbnail suggestions, and even an image example. So our pipeline is working perfectly. Now the question is, how can we deploy this pipeline on our website? To do that, first save the pipeline. Then go to the top right corner of the page. Here, you will find an icon called Export Pipeline. Click on it, and you will find three options. Automation, Chatbot, and Form. We have to select the form option. Now give a name to your form. After that, hit the Create Form button. On the next page, we have to customize the form's appearance. Add a custom logo if you want, then change the name and custom message. After that, you can customize the input and output format. Once done, hit the Deploy Change button and then hit the Export button. And here it is, the form is now published. You can copy the URL and share it with your friends. I will go with the second option, Share Form iframe. Just copy this code and publish it on your website. And here it is. The newly created SaaS tool has been published on our website. Let's try it. Enter a YouTube URL and then hit the Generate button. Now wait some time. And here it is. Our content is ready. 
After analyzing the video, our no-code SaaS tool provides us with three titles, the video description, a minimum of 20 related keywords, a thumbnail idea, and in the end, it generates an image as well. So, Vectorshift AI is more capable than you might think. You can do so much with this amazing platform. If you want to know more, tell me in the comment section, and I will make more videos on Vectorshift. And yes, don't forget to try it yourself. Link in the description. All right, friends. I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about Vectorshift AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating.